Hello, Internet. I'm Color Farty, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, this game is so good, and we're on Mock Jaws Locker today. The first of the underwater levels. Also home to amazing music, like everything in this game. And those are flotsams. There are no jetsams here, though. The yellow ones move back and forth, and the purple ones just kind of move in a straightforward line. And if we swim down here, we can get some nice prizes. Oh. Seriously, Donkey Kong Country 2, some of the best music in gaming history. You have got to be kidding me. I don't want Windows 8.1. Stop interrupting me with it. And those are lock jaws. Those are guys that are annoying. And this is on guard. He's even better in this one than he was in the uh, first game. For example, if we swim up here, hold down R and release. Bam. Bonus barrel. Now we get to find the crumb coin. There you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the lock jaws, basically when they see you, they'll like, clack a few times and then charge you down. So they can be rather annoying to get rid of, unless you've got on guard. And if you swim over this way, we can get the feather. And you always do want to at least try to take on guard on land. Because chances are you'll be able to get a good prize from the, uh, no animal sign. These are Shuri's starfish. They are instant death, so just avoid them at any cost. And we get on guard again. G's up here, past Mr. Lockjaw. So we can kill these guys, now what we're gonna do is... CHARGE! So that way we can go here, and get the hero coin. So now we're gonna go off land, but we're not gonna go past that sign yet. Because if we go backwards... There's a Flotsam with a picture above his head. And two free coins. That's always nice. This just means we will be unable to actually- Oh no, we will! I forgot about that. Oh yes, I love this game so much! Alright, whoops. So if we go to our scrapbook... And it takes forever to scroll through the different pages... It's Flotsam. I don't like how they don't list the names and... Did I get the PAL version by accident? That might be the case. And let's go to Bonus Bonanza. Give them a big hand, folks! Good evening, I'm Swanky Kong, and that's your tonight's contestants on my bonanza. It's easy to play. Use left and right on the control pad to pick a barrel, and then press the A button to begin the game. You will then be asked a series of questions. Use the control pad to move left and right between the stars on the ground. Once you are on the correct star, press the A button to activate that star. Let's go to Sw Swanky's Swag. What is my name? Your name is Swanky. Well done! Let's have another! What is the first enemy that you see in the game? A furry rat, even though it doesn't look like that. Good answer! Here we go again! What is the name of this area of the island? Definitely gain weight garbage. It's Game Point Galleon. You've been great, contestants! 
free out of free. You're pretty good at this. So yeah, you'll notice that there's the red barrel, the green barrel, and then the blue barrel. Each barrel gives you the corresponding uh, amount of lives. However, the thing to realize is that each ascending color gets progressively harder and costs more to play. So let's go to Pirate Puzzler. What button do you press to run? It's A, the B button. That's kind of confusing. Yes, let's play on. And wow, they've got Candy Kong kind of dressed like Vanna White. What is the name of the first level in the game? Pirate Panic. Well done, here's another. What is the name of the enemy boss who has kidnapped Donkey Kong? Captain K Rap. Real nice rareware. Captain K Rule. I hope you'll see you. we'll see you back next week. Nice going guys, here's your prize. And we get a green balloon. Let's go to the chimp challenge. In the first level of the game, how many windows did Captain K the Captain's Cabin have? So now we're getting into obscure questions, but the answer is four. That's correct, here's the next one. What is the name of the first rigging level? Main Brace Mayhem. Alright, on to the next round. In the first level of the game, which of these is not a background object in the captain's cabin? The answer is a gun. If you fancy a game, you know my name. We have a winner here tonight, folks. Until the next time, here on Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. I would dominate that game show. So that's a good way to get extra lives, and also completing bonus bonanza in every world makes you a picture. So we're on the last real level of Game Point Galleon, Top Sail Trouble. And meet the new a new animal buddy, Rattly the Snake. He's basically like Winky. He's a bit better than Winky though. Easier to control, and he can do a high jump. Yeah. Get used to Rattly, because Rattly appears on a, quite a few levels. He does make an annoying sound, though. Oh my gosh. Destroy them all. Are you kidding me? No! Alright, I won't say no to an extra life. <laughs> I love this music. Actually, I really probably should stop saying how much I love the music just because I love every song in this game, more or less. But this song especially just sounds really good. Oh, what? That's lame. Wait a second. So if you jump up, you see the no rattly allowed sign. Oh wow, that's actually really good programming on their part. <laughs> I love how this actually does have like the old fashioned uh, pirate sound, kind of. And if we jump to the right up here, we get the feather. Always nice. Bad luck, I was trying to kill the bee. Oh well, ow. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Oh sweet, I got a coin. So yeah, there are two flitters up there, and like Cranky Kong said, there's a hook nearby when you see two butterflies. Or, not butterflies, dragonflies. Oh no, I was trying to not get hit. Oh well, easy enough to fix. Trump coins everywhere. Oh yeah, I really need to cut down on the speed when I'm in these bonus barrels. Despite the time limit. Dixie Collins' hair move is really good. If memory serves, if you drop down here, nope, that's where the feather was. 
I said jump, Dixie Kong. Come on now. Don't be like that. Alright. Now we'll see. Yeah, jump right here to get the hero coin. Come on, Cranky. Is that the best you can hide them? Alright, so if you, you hear that guy, yep, it's a click clack with a camera above her head. And if we jump over the exit, we can get ourselves a nice blue balloon. We can also kill that guy. And that's what happens if you don't actually hit the target at a high enough height. So we did not spell calm on that level, oh well. And now we're on Funky's Flights 2, despite the fact that there was no Funky's Flights 1 in Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance. But let's just go by. Looking good, dudes! I'm Funky the Main Monkey, and my new Funky's Flights will take you anywhere on Crocodile Isle, provided you've already checked it out, of course. Unfortunately, I'm overrun with business at the moment. So I'm far too busy to help you guys out. Don't worry though, I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. I know, I'll lend you one of my copters, but only if you can prove you can fly it. Cruise on over and jump in that barrel, man. Go right in the skies. Right, dudes, listen up. This is how you fly. Use the control pad to steer the gyrocopter. Pressing the A button will fire the main gun. Have you got all that? Aerial loop. This is a piece of cake. All you have to do is take off and fly through 20 reeds. If you can pass through each reed in any direction, slowly land in the helipad to complete the mission. You have five minutes of fuel. Good luck. Not as big a fan of this as I was of fan Funky's Fishing, but the first mission's real easy. You just have to fly through all... Fly through 20 gold reeds to reach Dinosaur Planet. Oh, no. And these are the Bramble Levels. I flew through that. Come on, you can't be picky like that. Also, getting hit makes you lose HP. Oh, come on. Yeah, these levels are pretty intimidating, because literally anything you touch insta-kills you. Not, not sure if that's the case if you're in the gyrocopter, but if you're just calms, yeah, instant death. Alright, now time to land this gyrocopter. Just nice and slow and steady. Yeah, so the first mission's real easy, but some of them get brutally difficult. Awesome, guys! You sure got the hang of flying! You are now free to use the copter whenever you need it! Just access your inventory by pressing start and choose gyrocopter. One more thing, I could use a good pilot. Come back to see me, I have plenty of jobs on the go. Here, take this, many thanks, guys! So yeah, every time you beat a mission in Funky's Flights, you get a hero coin. And once you beat the first mission, you get the gyrocopter, which basically allows you to, well, travel from world to world without having to beat the boss of the world. Get the gyrocopter in the first world. It is by far the easiest. Oh, wait. We still need to show off Mr. Click Quack's photo. And listen to this amazing music. Fortunately, Click Quack is on the very first page. And let's go to the first boss, K Rose Nest. <laughs> I love the expressions on their face, that's really nice. Also, boss boss music. Honestly, I can't think off the top of my head of any music in the game that uh, is not amazing. So the boss is easy, he'll throw eggs at you, basically when they stop moving you can pick them up and throw them back at him. Or just touch him with them. And there are two coins up there. So those, uh, don't... It's random whether the egg will fall on the ground or if it'll just fall through the floor and off screen. So it can be horrible if you're a speedrunner. Like right here. Not a very good pattern. Die, crow. Literally. So he he gave up the ghost, but he's still twitching. That's kind of weird. Well done, you sure showed that feather freak. I can't wait to see how you get in on the crocodile cauldron. 
Go on then, go. What are you waiting for? Alright, so we beat the first world, and now we're on to the second world, Crocodile Cauldron. And this is the Lava World as the second world. Yeah, but this this game means business when they put the Lava World as World 2. And level 1, Hothead Hop. I actually got stuck on this level for a very long time. So if you do the team throw at the beginning, you can get uh, two up balloon. And you can get the K from straight up. So this is the gimmick of the level. There are these crockheads who are, for some reason, um, taking a lava bath. Are they subversions? Yeah, you can use them as platforms. And then there are the red ones. They launch you in the air like so. And the feathers in that chest. So you'll notice they only launch you so high. That's because if you're not... Hey, they fixed that! I got stuck on that part for ages, because normally you're supposed to hold the B button if you want to uh, go up higher, and I didn't realize you had to do that. Uh, so I'm like, how the heck do you get past that? Alright, you definitely want this cannonball, because as we know, cannonballs lead to bonus barrels. And we get to collect the stars. Stars. Oh, come on. Be a star. Okay, the crockheads do not normally do that. Oh, this introduces another animal buddy. Squitter. Not a huge fan of Squitter, but if you climb... Basically, he's arguably, like, one of the better ones, since he can literally go anywhere. And he can... Yeah, so he can shoot webs that attack, but if you push R, you can shoot a web like that. And if you push R again, it'll make a platform for you. I would recommend getting really good with Squitter, because... <laughs> believe me, you're gonna need to be. Don't lose Squitter. No, I... Twitter. So I'm not a huge fan of Squitter. Ah! Oh, I didn't realize Squitter could do that. So there's a clobber there, we can kill him and get a picture. And you'll notice that they were they told us to go up. How about scrolling the screen for me? Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff where it's just like, hope you're go high up when you're on Squitter to find that. So yeah, if you're really good at making platforms, you can actually go through levels really quickly with Squitter and get a lot of the bonus stuff real fast. But it does take practice. Man, there are tons of bonus barrels on this level. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, when you shoot a, a, a web of any kind, you can kind of control where it goes by moving up, up and down. Bye, Squitter. Thanks for your help. Bye. Great reward, Diddy Kong. Alright, that's Hot Head Hop done, and let me check what time it is real quick. Uh, I think we've got time for Bonus Bonanza and then one level after that. It's great to see you back! I wish I could win everything, I really do. I wish you could win everything. What is the name of the first lava level in this area of the island? Boiler Curfew? Meltdown Mayhem, that would be cool. Melt Hot Head Hop, yes! Let's play on! What is the name of this area of the island? Crocodile Cove is always an option. That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. How many times did you have to hit the end of area giant bird to kill him? Four. Ten? No, I hope not. Until next time, here on Swanky's Bonus Bonanza.
Well done, you got them all right. Let's go to Lucky Lava. Gotta be lucky to win this. What colors were the crocodile heads you jumped on in the first lava level? They were green and red. That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. What is an extra lives balloon colored red worth? One life. Yes, let's play on. Excluding the end of area boss. How many levels were there on the first area of the island? There were five. The boss does not count. I hope you will see you back next week. Nice going, guys. Here's your prize. Gorilla game. Yes. How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? You'd have to collect ten, because they're each worth ten. Good answer, here we go. Where did the beetle first appear during the first area of the island? Level two. Alright, let's try this one. What is the name of Diddy's ponytail girlfriend? Didette, Trixie, or Dixie? Dixie. Everyone's a winner here, unless you pick the wrong answer, then you're a loser and get nothing. All correct, folks, didn't they do well? You've got been great contestants. Yes, we have. We are amazing. All right, we've got time for one last level today, and it's Cannon's Claim. Cannon has a claim on this mine. And we got a picture of a clobber. I actually like this music better in the uh, Game Boy Advance version, just because it's a little too much in the Super Nintendo version. So if you get out Dixie, do a world jump, and then do a hover, you can enter this bonus barrel. And it's kind of mean that they put the DK coin over there, but whatever. So I haven't actually described these barrels. Basically, when you've got barrels like these, only the column shown can actually enter them. So like only Diddy can enter the Diddy barrel, only Dixie can enter the Dixie barrel. And these barrels fire you straight up, but you can kind of control your direction. That's a cannon. He makes a hilarious sound when he dies, and we'll be seeing a lot of him on this level. That was great, Dixie Calm. You died to the weakest enemy in the game. That was pretty brutal. <laughs> I love that sound effect. It's hilarious. So if we go over here, we can next us some pretty nice goodies. So yeah, he shoots barrels at you, but you can actually use those as, like, platforms to get across the mall areas. You'll have to do that later in the level. Alright, we're gonna do a roll jump to get that coin. Use these neckies as a platform to get to the bonus barrel. And we get to find the creme coin. You do have to move left and right in order to change direction in these barrels. It doesn't do it for you. Should not have done that. Oh, figures I lost the Diddy column and I can't use the Diddy barrel. Oh well, yeah. Come on, let me in. Yeah, in the Super NES version, this level's a little too, like, cacophonic. It's like, psh, like, tons of sound effects. So, what we can do is kind of ride the barrels over here, kill that cannon to get a, uh, kit, a camera, and then we get a bonus barrel as well. Uh-oh. Where'd the O go? Now we're keen of nothing. So this can be tricky to get. The feather. But we did it with style. Alright. Oh, that's a good place to stop. I don't want to have to do funky flights again in this mission. Hi, Cannon. 
All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Donkey Kong Country 2. I'm Color Forty. I really hope you're enjoying the series so far because I am having a blast. Tune in next time when we uh, tackle the rest of Cro Crocodile Cauldron, most likely. Have a great day, and God bless.